Right, so we're standing in the middle of the service park for the Pirelli International Railway, the opening round of the Preston British Railway Championship, and it's quite unique. This is, of course, a remote service area, and um, some of you might be wondering why are they not servicing the cars in the HQ at Carlisle? A lot more space, but the key thing, if you look around, you can see the forest right over there, the Kielder Forest. That is where the stages are being held. So. The service area is right by them to make the road miles much shorter so it's easier for the competitors. Um, admittedly, as you can see, it's not the most high-tech facility, but nothing in rallying really is. That's the thing, it's right back to basics motorsport. But for the drivers, they come straight out this, um, the stages, drive into here, get a quick half an hour to check everything over. A lot of guys this morning have had issues as well, and um, we'll have to see what the afternoon loop brings. But um, it's, as I say, a unique thing about rallying. Of course, in racing, you have the pit lane. It's right by the track. They go in there. Everyone has their own garage. Here, of course, we have numbers dedicated to each service area. So the service crew come in. They set up their tent, just like MH Motorsport have here for Josh McCrellan. Um, as you can see, he's number 44 for the cadet car, which I think is... I've forgotten his name, embarrassingly, but we'll look it up. Oh, Will Graham, thank you, Cameron. Actually, Cameron is a very respected motoring journalist as well, Stephen Brunson. So, there we go. And number 25, of course, Josh McCarroll in there. So, each team sets all this up and they have their mechanics to do everything for them. But that's kind of a little insight there into service area. Um, hopefully, we won't see too much, uh, too many more problems later on in the day because it's never nice to see the mechanics have to do too much. But there's an insight for you and hope you enjoyed it.